Alright guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday. That means we're using Teller Knights. Oh yeah, Teller Knights. So, this deck has been working okay. I'm glad that I put in a Nuclear High. I can definitely tell you that. Because a Nuclear High puts in that work. So we're going to go ahead and send it up. We're going to set the Call of Haunted. And we're going to set the Nova. And then we're going to Nova our opponent. So, as you guys know, this video, that's why it's called the Unfolding. Because... I was supposed to be telling you guys about what happened with the whole, uh, you know, the finale of, uh, you know, the semester and the whole, how that, how that went. Who the fuck is that? Okay. Um, no. It's... <laughs> Like, you can just shut up with that bullshit. <laughs> Alright? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, is there anything that I want to play right now? Mm, nah, I'll wait till you're in face. Then I'll go ahead and play it. Because I have a feeling that that face down right there is a card that I don't like. What is it? Divine something. I forgot the name of it. Divine something. Can't remember. Anyway. I want to say Divine Wrath, but that's clearly not the correct answer, Daniel, so don't even try to fucking guess that. Hello? Go ahead, if you want to hit me with that Divine something. That's what I think it is, the one where if you have Sanctuary in the Sky, you can negate a Spell Trap or Monster effect. Right? Am I right? Is that it? Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm going to drop you to the grave. Alright, I'm gonna go for Delteros. Alright, whatever it is, it's not that, because it would have responded. No, it could be. It could be. When it's my opponent activates a spell trap or monster effect. Yeah, it can be that. Go ahead, hit me with it. I don't care. Still gonna get my effect, so that's all I care about. Anyway, I was supposed to do the whole conclusion about the semester and about Shogu and etc. etc. and then, you know, let you guys on a cliffhanger. And then I was supposed to do it Friday, but I didn't because it was trains, and I was so excited about trains that I just said, nope, pushing it to Tuesday. So here we are, Tuesday. So I know you guys have been craving the finale of the semester because that's it's, it's pretty much it. I was close. It was Divine Wrath. I was close. All right. I thought it was the other card, but apparently it was that card. So and then you're just going to quit because I'm so up on resources that there's no point in even continuing trying. Like, you nagged yourself so fucking hard. Like, all right, let's go ahead and get another duel in. So right back. All right, back. So let me just wrap up the semester. This is it. This is it. This is the end of, of the winter. Or is it fall? I think it's called the fall semester. I think it's called the fall semester. Go ahead and get a double rota search on because the game decided to give me double rota. Welcome to Star. I like double rota. <laughs> double rota is nice. <laughs> and get you. Check the slow. No point in. I work standing. I'm just gonna summon the lab. I have a search me for another alt tire. Nuclear high is sitting there like, hey, I'm here. I'm like, uh huh. You go to the beginning. Right now, I don't really need you. So. Anyway. That's it. That's it. So. I did not have my final for calculus on Tuesday. I had my final for calculus on Thursday. So. And it is also going up to the point where. As you guys watch, if you guys haven't watched, uh, what is it, what is the name of the video? Did I mess up or something like that? I can't remember the video. Fernmals. Should all fuse in with Fernmals. Alright, well, here comes a Shikinaga, definitely. Mmm. Mmm. I might be getting, because I don't think I can get over that without activating an effect. Once you're doing your power stuff, when a special summon monster activates the effect, you can summon an activation if you do destroy it, then send one should all card from your hand again. Yeah, that's gonna be very difficult. Like, they make Shikinaga's stats way too fucking good. Like, damn, 26, 3,000. Re fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Re fucking ridiculous. Shit, where was Nova last turn? Say what, you got vanities? Probably. 
like, damn, you just fucking took Furnimals and you're like, this is the only way Furnimals are ever going to be good is if we do it like this, so. You want to use Shikinaga effect on my, uh, Altair? Sure. Go ahead and discard it all. And then Hedgehog effect, yep. So it's Shadals, but it's more than just Shadals. Play against Diffusion. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, and the Solemn Warning fucking two? Damn! God damn. Alright, that might be game, because I can't... I'm out, of, I'm out of steam. I'm out of steam. Like, I didn't know you were going to get everything in the world against me. Like, alright. Where were you, Nova? If you were a turn earlier. A fucking turn earlier. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. God, that fucking sucks. That sucking fucks. At least I can know it right now, but then the problem is that he's gonna go ahead and get his fucking, uh, shit on. So go ahead. Go. Chicken Naga effect! Negate! I'm gonna go. Alpha? Shh. Like, you could shut the fuck up when you're talking to me. But then Shikinaga's gonna be like, Effect! Get me my Shadow Fusion back! Shadows! Like, damn, I thought I was going against Furnimals, but no, I'm going against Shadows. Shadows with Furnimals splashed in, because why not? That's literally what it is. So I'm probably gonna get my butt kicked, because I mean, he's probably gonna make another fucking Shadow and fuck me up, so. I'm running out of steam. Ow, alright. So he's gonna search for Polly. So what, are you gonna Polly into a fucking Shadal monster? Instead of Shadal Fusion? Or are you just gonna go right? Nope, you're gonna go right into another fucking Shikinaga again. Huh. It's fucking annoying. It's fucking annoying. I hate Shadals so much. I hate Shadals. They're one of my most hated decks in Yu Gi Oh! It's fucking annoying. I hope they get killed by the Banished. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and surrender. I'm gonna go get me a different duel. Because I hate dueling against Shadals. That, now you know why Tiago when he helps he says no Shadals. That's why. Alright, be right back. Alright, back. Hopefully we can get a not Shadal duel in. And this is why I like running Lunukula High. Because he can fucking help me in this situation. Because this hand is clearly not anything. No. Is it that? Is it that? Pass. At first, I didn't like your nuclear hype, but I'm starting to like them. Especially with the high revival I have in my deck. It's supposed to be like a fun Telenite deck. No. So. The chances of me dueling against your dolls are pretty high, or something. Such so as summon Cyber Dragon? That's fine. I want some core? That's fine. You know what's fucking stupid? That I can't fucking Nova the core. Nova? Machine dupe? What do you say? No. That's fine. I don't like the idea of it. Oh, right. You can summon multiple cyber dragons. I forgot about that. I'm about to say, what are you going to do with summon multiple cores? That. Totally forgot about that. Can't activate its effect. You have a cyber dragon in the graveyard. So all you can do is just attack over me, which is fine. Which is fine. I don't care. Attack my nuclear high? Sure. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, anyway. Uh, calculus final was on Thursday. And it was pretty much like a... Just a big old conglomerate of... Uh, what we've uh, pretty much done the whole semester. Lots of calculus. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go ahead and revive uh, Deneb. Deneb is gonna get a search on. Deneb, search me for an Altair, would you please? Of 
cool. Double Nova. That's awesome. All right, so how do I want to handle this guy? I'm thinking about just going into Trivial and then bouncing everything back. That might be a fine way to handle a situation. I don't like the idea of him searching with him again, but you know, when I do my whole trivia thing, he's he's going to be hurting. So, and I might pick it out of his hand. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send Sirius, and I get my freaking um thing back, my Oasis. So I like that. Trivia. This effect is mandatory. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Nope. Alright. Trivial. Go ahead and give me something. Cyber Dragon. Nice. That was all three Cyber Dragons, isn't it? Yep. Damn. Alright. So, should I equip Alpha to it? I, I will go up to 26. Can he get over 26? That's the question. Even if he can. Even if he can. 26 attack 3,000 booty. Damn. I just turned my fucking trivia into a fucking Shikinaga. Damn. Nikinaga. Go ahead. I have Warrior returning alive. Have I'm, I'm good. I'm sitting good right now. All three of your Cyber Dragons in the grave. Damn. So that means Core's Graveyard Effect wouldn't even be able to do anything because you don't got any more Cyber Dragons in the deck. Like, damn. That's what you get for... Oh, that's why you only machine duped one because you got another one in your hand. I get you. I get you. Clever, clever. All right. So I got a nice 26 Trivial who's unaffected by my opponent's card effects in which each turn I can go ahead and pick something out of your damn hand. Nice. <laughs> And if you do find a way to get rid of my trivia, I can summon a Telenite monster from my graveyard. Uh-huh, that's fine. No, it's not worth alphaing my fucking trivia. I could waste this and then alpha, but it's cool. I'm cool. So what do you do? Ah, uh, this card's supposed to summon send all other face-up monsters on the field to the ground, but I'm unaffected, so no, I'm chill. That's cute. You thought you were gonna fucking drop that and fucking get rid of me? No. I'm unaffected. Period. By all other my opponent's card effects. So, I love this card. I love this fucking card. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So, I'm a 26 beater who's almost invincible. <laughs> you gotta attack over me. So, I hope you have an honest. Hope you have an honest. Because... I'm getting in that booty hole. Nah, that's fine. I'm chill. I'm chill right now. So just to make sure that you're nice and neggy, I will go ahead and pick something out of your hand, please. Gimme. You don't need that. You don't need that. <laughs> Alright. Triv. Oh, you got something? When I go into battle phase? What you got? I was about to say, what you got? Anyway, uh, Kelkis test is pretty chill, you know? You would think that would, you know, if it was the whole entire semester, there'd be a ton of problems on it. I think there's like 15 problems. There's 15 problems and 3 extra credit. So, that was chill. Uh, skip past it. I, I, I got a, I got 202 points out of 200 because of the extra credit. So, and then that replaced my lower score. Oh, my grade at the end of the class, because let me just, it's a, it's a 98.7%. So, I got an A. It's great. You know? I don't care if I didn't get 100% or higher. I got an A. And that's all I give a shit about. I don't even need to do anything. Like, I don't think he. I don't think he can get out of this situation. I think this is. This might be game. Is that like a call the haunted or something? I'm thinking it might be a call the haunted or something. But you banished all your cyber dragons, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, you did. What kind of fucking cyber dragon deck doesn't have cyber dragon anymore? Whatever. No cyber dragons in the cyber dragon deck. Sure, go ahead and search for his way. So why? So I... It was Call of the Hunted. I thought it was Call of the Hunted. No, that's fine. So that's your plan. That's your idea. That's your grand scheme of things. So I guess you're going to summon the dry. Well, I was thinking Zwei. So I? 
Dorai. He's gonna summon another Dorai, make them both five, go into your fucking Cyber Dragon XC, and then do what? You can't, there's no more Cyber Dragons to summon. No, he doesn't count. He doesn't count as a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. And then what? I hope you got another, what does he, where does he count out? I'm the filler in the graveyard, so you wouldn't even be able to attack over me. You can go into Exoton. But I will Nova you. Definitely, I will Nova you. Actually, I should have activated Oasis on your summons. So I can Nova something else, but it's cool. Let's chill. XE and Exoton? Actually, you know, what part of I'm unaffected don't you understand? No. Period. Duh. Spells, traps, monster effects. I'm unaffected by yours. Like, how many times are you going to freaking forget? Hello? You are. You are really, really, really dumb. For real. Anyway, let me go ahead and finish the story. So, I got A in the class. Yay, I got A in calculus. So, her class was actually pretty chill. You know, I, she was a great teacher. Um, the workload wasn't too much. At, be, at the beginning, it was kind of like, but that was because I procrastinated. But So, if I don't procrastinate on her work, and I do, you know, a couple problems each day, or I do a couple problems on my free time, or in class, actually, I would get the homework done. So, the homework's a breeze. The test, it was kind of chill. You know, I liked her as a teacher. And you know what? I liked her so much as a teacher, I'm going to be in her class next semester for Calculus 3. Same book, so I don't even have to waste my money buying, you know, another book. So, same book, Calculus 3. So, it should be awesome. No, different room, though. Yeah, different room. We were in the B building, now we're in the C building, so. Anyway, uh, you're probably wondering, all right, well, shut up. Don't care. None of this. We want to know about fucking Shogo. What happened? What happened? She was mad at you. What happened? All right, so. Uh, I finished the calculus test. I'm one of the few people who finished early. Well, well, not early, but finished first, you know. I wasn't, usually I'm like the first person, but today I wasn't because, well, that day I wasn't because there was freaking rotations and I was trying my hardest to get rotations right. So literally like one of the questions, the, the extra credit on the test helped me answer the other questions on the test. So I wasted time. I, I, I spent more time. I didn't waste time. I spent more time than I usually would, but it took me like an hour and 30 minutes to do the test. Anyway, finished. So I was sitting there waiting. I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and talk to her after class. So I'm sitting, waiting, 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 waiting. I think she finishes, at, I think after half an hour, one of my classmates, um, uh, what's his name? His name is Andy. Andy, yeah. Andy, he comes out and then we sit there and we talk. So, you know, he did well, I did well, you know, everybody's chill. So oh, after an hour away, I had to wait an hour. She finally comes out. So she starts, you know, walking past, and I was like, I get her attention by simply asking her a question, not unrelated. So I'm like, oh, how'd you do? So she's like, oh, I did fine, you know, make a couple mistakes, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. So her phone rings. So she answers her phone, and she goes around the corner to the stairway to answer her phone, and she starts talking on the phone. So, you know, and he's like, all right, I'm going to leave. So he leaves, and everybody leaves. So it's literally, the, and the teacher even walks out. The teacher walks out surrounded by students, including um, thirsty guy. So, Thirsty Guy didn't know where she was at because she was around the corner, so he didn't see her, so he just left, you know? So, I guess he didn't even get to say bye to her, I'm, for all I know. I mean, he probably, like, maybe, like, tapped her on the back and said bye, but, you know, I don't know. But Thirsty Guy, he didn't even get to say, you know, bye to her. So, she's sitting there around the corner talking on her phone. I can still hear her. So, for some odd reason, she decides to do this, but anyway, uh, she's talking, and all of a sudden, I don't hear her talk anymore. So, I'm like, okay, she's done. So... The way that is, is she, she, you can go up the stairs, go up on the second floor, and then come down the stairs on the other side of the building. So I'm like, all right, well, where did she go? So I want to, you know, talk to her. So I go and I look around the corner. She's not there. I'm just like, like, look, I know a lot of shallow bitches in my life, but do not tell me that she literally fucking went up the stairs, went all the way around, and came back down the stairs at a different location to completely avoid talking to me. Because that would piss me off, because I do not like shallow bitches. So, I was like, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to call her. And it will, it will take every fiber of my being not to cuss this bitch out if this is what she did. So, I call her, and I'm like, hey, where are you at? You know, I wanted to go ahead and say bye. She's like, oh, 
I'm, I'm upstairs. So she's upstairs. She comes downstairs and then I actually tuck her. So I'm like, okay, because I was, I was, I was about to lose my cool because I'm tired of all these shallow bitches. I have to say, please don't let today be the moral of the story because I can't handle the moral of the story. I'm not about this story. The moral, I don't like it, but it is true. So she comes down the stairs, so we start talking. So, uh, you know, uh, the topic of, you know, the whole picture thing comes up and, you know, she was just like, she's like, no, I'm not mad about that anymore. She was like, I wasn't mad about that. She's like, oh, okay. So I was like, so, you know, why haven't you been texting? She was like, she's like, to tell the truth, you're a bad texter. And it's just like, I didn't know there's such thing as being a bad texter, but go on. She's like, apparently, you know, sometimes I just don't know when to end the texting. Because generally, I'm just sitting here at my computer. I get a text. I'm going to text you back, you know. And then I'm going to continue doing my shit. Then you text me. I text you back. It shows that, you know. It's like having a conversation. You respond, I respond, I respond. But apparently, she's like, well, you can you continue the conversations too long. You don't know what to type, you know. It feels like you're fishing for what to talk about. Like, I, I, I. I just don't know when to stop, apparently. Like, okay. You know, I, apparently I don't know how to end the conversation. So she didn't want to text me because apparently I wasn't a good texter. So instead of just texting me and being like, hey, Daniel, let's, you know, I'm done talking for today. You know, let's talk again tomorrow. She decided to just upright not text me. Like, okay, continue. So apparently we're chill. So that's right. So I'm just like, all right, well, I want to see you before the, you know, the semester is over. So, you know, what's up, you know? Are, you know, are we still cool? You know, the semester is over. I'm not going to get to see you. She's like, she's like, I would rather, she's like, I like to talk peop to people face to face rather than text or call them. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, if you want to meet face to face, then, you know, how about we hang out over winter break, you know, winter break, you know, we can go you know, chill, hang out, go to the movies, you know, go on a date. It's chill, you know, we'll see each other, right? So she's like, oh yeah, that sounds fine. She's like, well, you know, we'll set a schedule. Like, all right, we'll set the time when to do that. I'm like, okay, cool. So. You know, we're just standing talking. Uh, you know, I find out that she has a driver's license, but she doesn't drive because apparently she crashed her car and, you know, her mom took away her driving privileges. So that's why she rides the bus, even though she has a driver's license, you know, like, okay. She's like, she's like, I don't want to drive. Driving scares me. Like, because you get in a little fender bender and makes you like completely terrified of driving. Like, okay, sure. So, uh, you know, she got, gets in contact with the mom. Mom's going to pick her up. So like, okay. So. Uh, we walk outside, and we're sitting there talking. I'm just talking about, you know, just what she's going to be doing when we went to break, you know, and stuff like that. Mom shows up, so, um, you know, she gives me a hug. You know, she gives me a hug, like I said, so I guess we're cool. She gives me a hug, she hops in the car, and she dies away, right? But that's not it. That's not it. That's not the end of the story. She's probably like, oh, yeah, you're cool. You guys are going to hang out with her in winter break. You're doing it. Yeah, you're doing it. All right, 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 right. No. All right? So she said she was going to text me. That, hey, I'm, not, I'm a terrible texter, but I'm trying to work on it, right? No. So, she said she was going to text me, right? So, I go ahead and text her, you know? I try to start off with, like, a relevant, com uh, you know, uh, thing that's relevant, that's, you know, just uh, interesting that she might, you know, want to hear about, right? So, you know, I start off the conversation, like, you know, I say, approximating that I got 200 points on the final and the replacement on a lower test, I get a 97% in calculus, too. What did you get, you know? So, I was trying to, you know, inform her about what's up, you know, find a common ground in conversation with about calculus, y'all, you because know, we're both in calculus, and then start a conversation with that, off of that. She doesn't text me that. This, I'm looking at my phone right now. This, I text her on Friday. It is now Tuesday. No text. At all. You know, like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired of it. Like I said, if you don't want to text me, I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to, done. Tired. Mm-mm. You know? So, that's it. That's it. That's that's the end of show, girl. The girl who texts me, but then doesn't text me. All right. I mean, I'll update you if she ever texts me back, but I doubt it. Like I said, that was Friday. It's Tuesday. She's probably long done forgot about me. So, you know, she was just like, all right, then there's just a classmate. We're just texting. No, we're not in class any together anymore. I don't need to text this guy anymore. And like I said, you know, it seems like no matter what, the the story always rotates to being moral. And I don't understand why. I don't know what's up with, with women. What's up with bitches? I don't know why. Like, why? Why are you so shallow? Like, I can't even get my fucking pinky toe dipped in this fucking shallow ass water. This is a fucking, fucking, just a dry desert. A dry desert. Because there, the, the water, there's no water. They're, they're so shallow. So shallow. Bitches be shallow. Oh my god. Like, that, moral number, the moral story, lesson number one. 
bitches be crazy. Lesson number two, bitches be shallow. Like, damn, like, all right. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. So you're not going to text me anymore because you think you're better than me? Like, do you think you're better than me? I hate when people do that. You think that you're too good to text me back. Who the fuck do you think you are? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But that shit pisses me off. You know? You have the nerve. You have the nerve to disrespect me like that. Fuck you. So I'm done. That's it. That's the end of the show, girl. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I, if she texts me, I probably won't be texting her back. Because I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this interaction with her. I don't like this at all. So it's over. It's over. So I'm just going to chill. Hey. I got all winter break to not have to worry about bitches. So no more bitches be crazy for all of winter break. We'll pick up the whole bitches be crazy in the next semester. Yeah, because you guys know Daniel doesn't stop. He says that he's done, but he doesn't. You know, he always finds a girl that he likes to, he wants to talk to. Then that girl ends up being a bitch, and then Daniel gets mad, and then, and then rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So next semester, yeah. So well, my class is in classes are cut in half because I have two online classes and two in classes so you know I'm not even sure if she'll even be in the next calculus class because she's apparently going off to Reno so she got off to Reno hey good luck with your life bitch that's all I gotta say right so uh, you know she may not even be in cal the calculus 3 class but the other class is uh, college algebra so you know what I'm hoping for is that since it's college algebra you know it's, the, you know, it's an intro to college class I'm gonna be able to find me a nice freshman girl, nice 18 year old freshman girl. She has no way around. I'm gonna swoop in like a fucking superhero, be all awesome. Like, yeah, yeah, I can help you with algebra shit. I can help you up all the way to fucking Tokyo. That's my fucking, you know, math genius. You know, you know, and maybe that'll work, but, you know, I got all spring break. Been planning on maybe heading down over to my high school, visiting my uh, my high school teachers and seeing how they're doing. You know, I didn't get to see them all semester because I was so busy, but, you know, the semester's over, I have to go ahead and visit them, see how they're doing, how it's up, you know, and I like to keep up to date with them, so I might do that, maybe maybe Wednesday. So, Wednesday, I'll go in Wednesday, so at least I'll have something to talk about interesting on the Thursday video. So that should be cool, chill, you know. Burning on Wednesday, you know, I'll probably be so busy, you know, distracted trying to do the right, uh, Kleeput plays that is not fucking up that, you know, may not talk about much, but, you know, just, we're on winter break, so, you know, it may be just, you know, talking about what's going on in this situation in the duel, maybe like Vladimir White, but, you know, these stories, I mean, there's not gonna be much about my days, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, Daily Duels, like I said. Bitches be crazy. I do not know why. Crazy and shallow. That's it. <laughs> no, I can't find it. I can't. I I can't find a good wholesome girl because there are none. They're so fucking shallow that they don't even want to fucking you know talk to you or message you back at all. At all. At fucking all. You know, as simple as simply just hey, how are you doing today? They won't message you back. It's as simple as fucking that. I do not know why they're so fucking shallow. They just they're just they think they're better than me. You think you're fucking better than me. Fuck you. I hate that. That's like literally going up to a woman on the street and being like, Hey, how are you doing today? And then they just turn up your nose, turn their nose up at you. Like, I don't, I won't hit a woman, but I will smack a bitch. And that's a bitch. And you are not better than me. I don't even care who the fuck you think you are. You're human, I'm human. So there's no reason why you think that you're fucking better than me. So fuck you. I don't know, I hate shallow people. I hate shallow people so much. So much. All right, I'm done. I'm done with this little rant. I'm done. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using the Klee put. The Klee Fort, the Klee whatever. Klee Bola. All right. Thanks for watching.